KSI is one of the world's most popular YouTubers, but yesterday he accidentally exposed the pump and dump crypto scams that he promoted. They've been hidden for room? two years, but only came out when KSI logged back into his old Twitter account saying, does this still work? Now, if you didn't know, oh. this is KSI's crypto account where he used to talk about crypto coins he liked, but he messed up because one investigator has been waiting for him to return to the scene of the crime. And that person is not me. It's Zach XBT, a crypto investigator on Twitter who I'll link below because his work is incredible. He's a friend of the show. We've collaborated a lot. I, I just encourage you to go follow him. But I was shocked I when he said this. In before he starts sharing garbage, again, dumping your tokens on Logan Paul's laptop is permitted shots. and encouraged. Now, many people, including myself, hadn't seen anything from KSI to okay, this wait, point. Okay, wait, do you guys all know about crypto scams? Do you understand how they function? I want to see if I can read you some of the convo I had with CoffeeZilla where I was trying to get a proper understanding. Yeah, so usually the creator slash owner of a crypto coin approaches an influencer, offers them X amount of money, sometimes in crypto coin entirely or sometimes in actual money. Influencer promotes the coin, which leads to people investing, which leads to it looking like a good investment and the price rising. And then the influence, influencer plus majority owners of the coin start selling it off in really high quantities at the elevated stock price, cashing in a multiplier of their initial investment, but leaving all of their followers and the people who invested because of the influencer with a crypto coin price that winds up being a fraction of their initial investment. And then I said, if this is correct, isn't it essentially influencers taking advantage of their audience for their lack of financial literacy slash understanding? And it's also a zero sum game in the sense that the influencer can only make money off of the crypto coin if their audience is losing money. So that's my understanding. All right, Shady. let's finish but the video. But Zach had been waiting for this moment. He goes on. Remember when KSI posted this? All of a sudden, my XCAD bag is looking juicy again. Hoddle Gang then proceeded to dump $850,000 worth of XCAD over the following days from his wallet address. Now, obviously, I was stunned by this, but looking at the date of when this all happened, I realized Zach has been holding onto this piece of evidence, waiting for KSI to come back to this account for a, years. He a, had this tweet ago. in the drafts, and KSI logging back in activated the trap card. Zach also shared a picture as proof. Series of transactions from KSI's wallet were starting on March 27th when he sent that tweet. KSI started selling XCAD. The same day he tweeted he was part of the HODL gang, slang for- Okay, so essentially, if you guys don't understand what's going on, KSI was, so, was saying, oh, my crypto coin, XCAD, is looking really good. Probably trying to incentivize people to buy the coin and then the stock goes up. But behind the scenes, he was also selling the coin off. And the, the thing that I find interesting about crypto is that all of your trades, whether you're selling or buying something, it's all documented and publicly available. If someone can find your wallet number, basically, crazy. 27th, when he sent that yeah, tweet, it's all KSI started selling XCAD. The same day he tweeted he was part of the HODL gang, slang for someone who wouldn't sell this crypto coin, right? In fact, that wasn't the only time KSI has mentioned this holding stance publicly. I'm holding my bags. <laughs> I'm holding my Luna, my XCAD. <laughs> Videos like this are why people genuinely thought KSI was just buying and holding, but he wasn't. This time he sold. And he tweeted again on March 30th, 2022. <laughs> Sorry. Me looking at Zill Sorry. and XCAD right now. And it might look like that means he's excited about this. But really, he was looking at the sell button because he continued to sell XCAD to his fans who thought he was part of the HODL gang once again. And this is what I mean by a pump and dump scam. He got his followers excited while selling his own crypto bag at the same time. In total, over $800,000 was sold by KSI over a few days and these two tweets, according to Zach XBT. Now, as a quick aside, if you're wondering or skeptical of the fact that influencer tweets can- Oh, I will say one caveat. There have been instances where a crypto coin developer will find an influencer, they'll set all of this up, but the influencer doesn't even know what's happening. The influencer is just thinking, oh my God, I can make $300,000 and then I might make even more, yay. But they don't even understand that they're scamming their audience because they didn't do their due diligence in understanding 
where the money is coming from. This isn't always the case. I'm just explaining sometimes it can come from ignorance, who knows. And have any kind of effect on a token price or volume, I whipped up a chart for you showing volume of XCAD during the days when KSI tweeted. You can see that trading volume spiked millions of dollars Damn. on those days, which in <gasps> part were some of his followers putting money in oh, as he sold. It is insane seeing influence like this. Which in Whoa. part were some of his followers putting money in as he sold. I think this entire video is debunked and might be BS. Oh my God, is there another video to watch? Today, the price of XCAD has plummeted from $3 to about $1. Now, as always, with such large allegations, I wanted to be sure to reach out to KSI to give him a chance to explain these large accusations. After all, I didn't find because this. I Zach did. So yeah. I reached out to KSI over Twitter. I don't want to show this as if it's 100% And he true. gave There's me the more. following. Twitter, can someone link it? Even if your link gets deleted, I Statement. can still click it. Hey, bro. I mean, I'm still a hodl gang, LMAO. Sold some profit, as well as my own money, to put into Luna, thinking I would profit more to buy back more XCAD and took a major L. Still fully believe in X. Guys, my, it smells so good. I'm so excited to eat. Oh, my God. I'm so hungry. I'm getting the whiffs of delicious food. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. Just a quick note from... I will look at this after the video. Promise. Cad, the ability to earn from watching content. You're such a tourist. Honestly, Actually, you should talk to Actually, Redacted. True. He's very excited Ooh, about this project. I will project. look at this, too. I, will look at I this never too. left crypto. I've just been watching it from the shadows. It's kind of hard to leave when you've invested so many years into it. So that's his statement. He then shared a personal account screenshot showing that he does have some XCAD still held. But while that's an interesting fact and an interesting explanation, it doesn't really change the core accusation of whether he pumped and dumped his fans. And I thought it was interesting KSI didn't deny the crypto wallet was his or that he made that amount of money. He's just telling us, well, I'm still hodling some of it, just 800,000 of it I sold. <laughs> now, to be honest, I don't buy this explanation for a second, but I kind of was feeling like I had to leave the story there. It felt like a one-off scam that I talk about on my new side channel, Coffeezilla Extras, but the story would die there. But then I got another message, nice which changed everything from Zach. He said, I have one more KSI example with a different coin. Turns out on March 20th, 2021, KSI tweeted this. Two NFT coins I'm very bullish on, Super and Earn. Any other NFTs I should look at? Now, normally when you're bullish on a coin, you buy that coin, mm -hmm. but that's not what KSI did. See, right after he tweeted that, six hours later, he sold $174,000 worth of Earn token. And then four hours later, sells another $174,000. Now, well, for me, it that blows is a textbook mind. pump and dump I don't How know what much is. Money he tweeted, that's the pump. Within 24 hours, he with. sells $348,000. That's the dump. It couldn't be more clear. Or so I thought, because I asked KSI about this, and that's where things got a bit muddy. He says, I don't really remember the details of every transaction I made. These were coins I put my own money in, thinking they would do well. I would listen to what people said on Twitter and just follow stuff. I invested in Doge, etc. I didn't have malicious intent in trying to scam. I was new to crypto, so I was excited, putting money in random things and trying to chase the pumps and ultimately lost heavily. I hope people didn't mm. take advice or tweets as gold because looking back at my track record, I was effing dog shit. <laughs> I wish I was an evil genius that would pump and dump at the right time because then at least people would say that I had some wit about me. Reality is I was just shit at crypto. <laughs> and that's basically KSI's defense. He was dumb, he was bad at crypto, but is that true? That is a very charismatic response. Well, he response. says he put in $2 million of his own million. money and lost it all in the end. He says, quote, I made zero hmm. profit on crypto. In the end, I lost it all on Luna. Look, I haven't seen his accounts. Maybe that's true. Either way, even if he is bad or dumb with crypto, I, I just... It doesn't explain the pump and dumps. Like telling people you're bullish and then selling is not explained by I, hope I was that's new, explained I was maybe dumb. In the document. And I said as much. I said, I'm just trying to understand why you traded the opposite way that you were saying on Twitter. Good. And KSI replied this, I thought... because I thought I was getting trolled. Honestly, every time I tweeted something, the opposite would happen on the market. So I decided to tweet the opposite of what I was actually doing and still took an L. So just to be clear, KSI's. Hmm. 
hmm. story that he's going with is that he thought the market was against him. So he publicly said one thing while privately, secretly doing the opposite, which is kind of the definition of a pump and dump when you promote. Does anyone know how many followers his crypto account had? That to a big audience. You say you're going to buy to your followers while secretly selling. Whether or not it's a successful pump and dump, whatever pump and dump, that's what it is. Now, look, I understand that people are going to have conflicting ideas of whether this was malicious or not. I and I think it's going to entirely either. depend on whether you think KSI's story K. makes sense. Hmm. I'm just trying to provide full context while also giving you my opinion on that, which is that I don't really buy that he had no clue that tweeting one thing would positively affect the price in his favor. Yeah, I think Meanwhile, though, trying to while I was confronting KSI, I heard a final response from Zach XBT, which I think moved the needle a bit. He said, I found another example. See, on May 11, 2021, KSI Crypto tweeted, this is about to explode. Only moments later, Why though, he sold $25,000 didn't buy it, which I get it. It's a relatively small amount, but it furthers that same pattern of behavior. It's just a matter of what you think that behavior was. But isn't a few moments not even long enough to sell? Like, wouldn't you want to tweet, oh, this coin is really good, and then wait like 24 hours or 48 hours and then sell? If you ask me, I think KSI tried to use his influence to move the market for himself Why would you sell, in like, crypto right through a that few doesn't really make sense. He may have lost all his money eventually in a Ponzi scheme, but that does oh, not I don't think he make means moments literally. Well, there should be timestamps now. Well, why aren't there timestamps on this one? Lost all his money eventually in a Ponzi scheme, but that does not make what he did okay. In fact, I think it's fair to say that a lot of his followers, we saw that, you know, he influenced millions of dollars in trading volume, went into some coins that are now doing very poorly. But ultimately, I think the true piece of cosmic irony for KSI here, though, is that he would have gotten away with all of this. No one would have known about any of it if he just hadn't logged back into Twitter for one last spin at the slot machine. Hmm. I know I'm flash banging you guys. <laughs> okay, let's see. KSI Crypto. Who am I? My name is. Okay, I was into crypto and I made a lot of money, but lost it all when I got scammed and my wallet got drained. I never took the money I made in my bank account. Wait. JJ made a Twitter account called KSI Crypto. Everything crypto. My tweets are my twits. <laughs> my tweets are my opinions and in no way equate to financial advice of any kind. I don't think that means that you're not influencing people though. Whatever he does with his crypto on Twitter, he's also known for flipping his mind instantly. And that's why he is known as a ship poster because he will just post anything. One day he will say he's bullish and one minute later he will say he is bearish. One day he will say hodl and just another day he will sell everything. He's just like Jim Cram. I don't even know who that is. Whenever he says he's going to hold a crypto, that crypto will go down. Whenever he says it is time to sell a crypto, that crypto will go up. There's a meme based on this to do the opposite of whatever KSI is doing. And KSI himself has acknowledged that many times. I'll be sharing some tweets as an example. Okay, I kind of get it more-ish now. He was doing a bunch of different things to see what would work. Sometimes he might promote a coin and people would sell it or the opposite of what he was anticipating would happen. So instead, I think he started maybe promoting a coin, but then selling and seeing if that would work for him. Okay, wait, this document is really, really, really long. Anyways, I think we kind of get the gist of it. I don't think it seems as egregious as perhaps some very, very cut and dry examples of pump and dumps, but it might look a little sus, but to some, they might just be like, no, this is just how KSI has been tweeting. So yeah. <clears throat>